Each team with a couple of runs, both stranding a couple of runners. Elwood commits uh, two errors in the ball game, or check that Lures commits a couple of errors in the ball game in um, in that first inning. Two, three, and two for Lures, for Elwood two, two, and zero. We should say so. Uh, second time to the plate for the Fort Wayne Bishop Lures Knights. Dan Wiss, the shortstop, Hammock, the right fielder, Kiermaier, the pitcher. Eight, nine, and one. Bouncing ball to the left side. Even up, but a ball and a strike. Danny Wiss, member of that football team, uh, and, and you know he's a kicker, pretty good player. Um, but it's, it's an interesting inning. You know, you, again, you answer score with a score. Bouncing ball again left side and again foul. We'll, cl- we'll crown a 3A state champion beginning at 4 o'clock this afternoon. That'll feature Mishawaka Marion with a record of 21-10 and 10 against the Athenians from Crawfordsville at 31-4. and 4. Then a 4A title game, 26-5 and 5 Homestead against the Decatur Central Hawks with a record of 28-7. and 7. Ring him up, strike three called. Pretty good breaking ball on that third strike. It had kind of worked him uh, to get to that point. And uh, as he does, pretty well. Got a good command. Got a, a big repertoire of pitches. And uh, I'll tell you what, that's a good, good way to get yourself started in the uh, in this inning. Get that number eight hitter. Pretty good athlete strolling to the plate right now, the right fielder, Taekwon Hammock. Absolutely. Right-handed batting, right fielder. Pulled the string a little bit on the first offering to him and bailed out that front shoulder and Dropped the head and did about everything wrong and missed it. Well, that breaking ball is pretty solid. And, and again, you know, Wills doesn't give you a different look in terms of his delivery and what he's doing. They they look the same, which makes him such an, an effective pitcher. One and one. That one trickles back to the screen. Well hit, left field, right at Hartman. He won't get it over his head to the base of the wall. Hammock makes the turn, speeds into second base with a stand-up double. He yanked that one. I tell you what, if we're in a different ballpark, <laughs> maybe this gets out. But he gets every bit of this. I mean, you get a chance to take a look at this. I mean, it's right where he's able to get full extension, which he does, and a uh, an easy double for Taekwon Hammock. Big play now, big hit. A runner in scoring position. You get back to the top of the order with Kevin Kiermaier, a 500-plus hitter. So after the leadoff batter struck out, Hammock goes to the base of the wall and left, gets himself a double, and they set the table for Kiermaier to help himself and try to bust this 2-2 tie at the top of the first as he strolls to the plate. Had to hit the left field. And then was forced out at third. That one just missed. And the mm. count goes to two and zero. Did just miss. Now you're you're behind two zero to a five hundred hitter. The two zero pitch started to pull this trigger. Decided to take a look at it. Paid the price, and the count's now two and one. It's a good piece of pitching. Nice little curveball on the inside of the plate. Check of the runner is second base hammock off the double. That one caught the corner as well, even at two and two. Interleague play in the bigs. We see the Cubbies already up on Toronto four to nothing. LA and Detroit hooking up today. Florida and Tampa Bay. Give you the rest of the schedule. It's time for Mitts. Pittsburgh, Baltimore, Colorado and the White Sox, San Diego and Cleveland. The two two pitch swung on toward the gap and right. Clean draws a beat on it. Man, Hammock gets picked off up. at second base. Mm, 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 mm. Questionable base running, no doubt about that. That doesn't go in the book as an error, but uh, it's an error in judgment nonetheless. That's the third out of the inning and in the inning. For Elwood in the bottom of the second, Nate Jones, Aaron Clean, and Jacob Dunnigy. First pitch is a ball. Sky to center. 
Watts draws a beat on it. Calls it in for one away. Good inning for Kiermaier to get settled down a bit. Well, I think you'll see both guys settle down. I mean, they're too good not to. But you, on that pitch, you get a Nate Jones with a, a, a long fly ball. He had a big grand slam home run back in the semi-state to help him get here. First pitch of ball. Right fielder for the Bishop Lures Knights, Aaron Klein. Second offering, swing and a miss. Count even a ball to strike. Donaghy at the top of the order. Scored the first run for Elwood. Waved at another offering and doesn't get it. One and two. I think you've seen Kiermaier just start to kind of feel some you know, a little more rhythm right now. The one-two pitch took a little something off. It missed yeah. low and away. Yeah, he's not going to he's not going to throw that one across. But now I think he'll, he'll come back, challenge him right here, and and maybe with a little little breaking ball. Two-two pitch, swing yep. and a miss. And uh, really, his pacing's picked up oh, a little yeah. bit. I mean, he's it, working a little quicker. Oh, well, he, and it does. He just looks more fluid too, doesn't he? Just feels more comfortable. Right. You, you would think. And I, obviously, you're on the huge stage. I mean, you've got a situation where you've given up two. Probably not too many teams that put two on the board in the first inning against you throughout the year. Now, with that 157 ERA, it hasn't happened off the Well, you saw him on that, just uh, down and away, a pitch that's really difficult to hit. First pitch to Dunnigan misses the ball. He, in the first inning, scored the first run of the ball game. He reached two errors, were charged to West, the shortstop. Bobbled a ground ball and then threw it away, which allowed Dunnigy to go all the way to second base. Yeah, the thing about him, though, I mean, with Dunnigy, if he puts it on the ground, if he hits a ground ball, if on the left side, you're going to have to make a quick play because he's such he's got such great speed. Pulled the string a little bit on a pitch upstairs, waved at it and missed it. It's two and one. Typical depth for the infield. Outfield pretty much straight away. Two and one. A little excuse me swing at a pitch low and away. Fooled him a bit. I think he was looking fastball there and May threw have a breaking been. ball away. But so it yeah. counts even up at two and two. Again, we've talked about it. Continue to talk about Kiermaier moves the ball around. Does a great job of location. The 2-2 pitch. Fisted toward the third baseman. Bun scoops it up. Guns it across to Diamond. Good scoop at first by Franke to end the inning. Nothing doing in the bottom half of the second inning for the Fort Wayne Bishop Lures Knights. We played two complete. We're tied at two. Back after this on IHSAA Sports.org. 